if you're a man and people perceive you as lower status, you're because as a man, status is king. Status is more important than your looks. It's more important than your confidence, than your level of fitness, than your money. Of course, all of these things play a role in what your perceived status is, but status outweighs all of them. And when we're talking about status, what that means exactly is how other people perceive your level of importance and significance within a particular group, but also just like versus all men in general. Because here's the thing, when you have status, it opens doors that allow you to network with social circles of more successful men and that's going to open doors to more and more opportunities for your career for your personal growth for everything and it also opens doors to the hottest women because more than anything what women are wired to find attractive in a man is his status so in this video we're going to break down how to create genuine real status that can't be ignored but also what you can do before that point to create the illusion of having high status all right so the first step is to understand the hierarchy as I've progressed on my journey and become friends with more and more successful men, something that I've learned is that at the top, men really, really, really are aware of the social hierarchy of everyone that they're hanging out with. They understand who's successful, they know who has money, they know who has influence, and it fucking means something to them because this level of man has put himself through so many years of, of growth and dedication and consistency in his craft to get where he is, so he values other guys who have also done that he respects those men and here's the thing it cannot be faked as i was on the way up and i've hung out with a lot of different men in a lot of different scenarios there's always the one type of guy who really enjoys talking the talk right he wants to let everybody know how successful he is one time i was in los angeles with the homie dave and we were hanging out with a new guy who i had met before but as soon as he came over all he could do was talk about how good he was, how successful he was, how he had just moved to LA and he knew all the different, you know, doormen and bartenders at the different venues. He could get in anywhere without having to wait in the line. He didn't have to be on the list. He was making money. He was killing it with the women, uh, according to him. And look, not every successful guy is going to agree with me on this, but nothing is a bigger turnoff than a guy who comes in and just starts talking himself up. When you're around the real top G's, it's just going to be immediately obvious that this guy is trying hard, he's faking it, and he just really badly wants to be accepted into the group. Like, it doesn't matter if you walk into your boss's office acting like you're on his level or you're like his boss, he understands where you are on the hierarchy, that's how he's gonna treat you. Instead, what I'd recommend and what's worked for me is to own your place in the hierarchy. If you're with a group of men who are all above you, and I've been in those groups before, don't walk in like you're on their level. Instead, walk in being eager to learn from them and ask them questions. Don't talk about yourself at all unless they ask you about yourself. Because man, when I meet someone like that, a young, hungry dude who's hustling, who's just eager to be around, that's someone who I respect and who I want to help get to the next step in his journey. Now, something else all the top G's understand is how important skincare is, which is why I decided to partner with Tej Hanley to be the sponsor of today's video. Let's be honest, man. If you're suffering from acne, red skin, or oily skin, that's gonna hurt your confidence. And that's why it's so crucial to have a quality skincare routine like Tej Hanley. Basically how it works is you're gonna get sent a box just like this that contains a variety of different creams and lotions that have been formulated specifically to work together as a system to give you clear, healthy skin, and that's gonna boost your confidence. I'd recommend you get started with their level one system that has you covered with all of the basics, a daily face wash, a PM moisturizer for before bed, an AM moisturizer with sun protection, and an exfoliating scrub. And the best part is they make it stupid simple because each box comes with a card like this that tells you exactly when and how much of each product to use. Skincare is definitely something that I did not used to take seriously. I didn't used to have a routine, but now that I do, honestly, I wish I'd started sooner. And because today's video is sponsored by T. Hanley, you know that they're hooking it up. If you click that first link in description, you're going to get 30% off your first box of T. Hanley. Plus, they're throwing in two free gifts, a face towel and the super convenient dot bag toiletry bag. Don't sleep on this one. Click that first link in description to get started now. All right, number two is no handouts. So a couple weeks back when I had Brandon Carter on my podcast, he said this. But I look at my goals as what kind of effort do I need to put in to make failure impossible? The point he's making is when you're pursuing something in your life, if you can come up with a plan that makes it literally impossible to fail and you commit yourself fully to that plan, well then success basically becomes inevitable, right? It might take a long time, might take years of failure and figuring it out, but eventually you're gonna get there. So what plan would guarantee that you genuinely become a high status man that other high status men want to be around. Well, this might sound obvious, but a lot of guys don't realize it. You need to actually become that type of man. 
the type of man that other high status men would always want to be around. It's like back in 2017 when I started this YouTube channel, I was dying hoping that a brand like Gymshark or Alphalete would sponsor me and then that would make everything easier because I would have like the backing of this known name brand and after that other people would want to collab with me and my channel would grow so and so quickly because of that. In other words, I was hoping that I would get a handout from someone else and that's what would allow me to become high status and the best thing that happened to me was that that did not happen because that forced me down the path of becoming a self-made man i kept my head down and grinded out two youtube videos per week i have not missed a single video since january 2017. And little by little the subscribers came the success came the sponsorship money came alphalete ended up sponsoring me but at that point it didn't even matter bro because i had my option of who i wanted to be sponsored by which companies the point being is you're never going to get an invite into the high status community and then you've made it. No, what's gonna happen is you're gonna build yourself up until you kick that fucking door down yourself and it makes sense for you to be there. The other people who are in there want you to be there too because you're like them now. If you're into music, Kanye West is not just gonna roll along and put you on and add you on to the good music roster if that's even still a thing. You're not just gonna like slide into the DMs on LinkedIn of the owner of some very prestigious company and he's gonna make you a partner in that company just because you sent the right message. And that's probably the most powerful mindset shift I ever had was I almost said, no, fuck you. I don't wanna be put on because it wasn't happening, right? This was kind of me being reactive, but it was a good reactiveness because I was like, fuck you. I don't wanna be put on. I I want to do this by myself. I want to achieve everything on my own without anybody else's help. And when you change how you're thinking, you think like that, all of a sudden you start taking a lot more action because you realize that nothing's ever going to happen that's just going to magically give you success. I started working like a hundred times as hard at that point because I was like, well, I'm going to have to fucking build this mountain, climb this mountain all by myself. So now knowing that no one's going to help you, you know, in whatever career path you're trying to pursue, what do you need to do to make failure impossible regardless? All right, number three is status hacking. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there are some ways that you can create the illusion of status before you actually have it. Now, the top 1% men might see through this, but if we're being honest, 99% of the people you deal with on a daily basis, they're not one percenters, they're average people. And the thing about average people is that they live average lives. They haven't taken that much responsibility for how they look. They probably haven't taken that much action in their career. So by just tweaking a few things, you can quickly become the top status guy in your friend group or amongst your coworkers. It all starts with looks maxing, with optimizing your looks. Because if you walk into a room and you're clearly physically fit, you have good style, you've strategically chosen, you know, your facial hair and your haircut, you're probably gonna look better than every other guy in that room because people will always judge a book by its cover. And it makes sense. If I see a guy like this, I know that he's physically strong, that he has some degree of work ethic, so I'm gonna place him above an average dude. Now, I've done a full in-depth step-by-step video about how to quickly look max. I will link that below. But the secret sauce that's really gonna take that status to the next level is gonna be if you also look max your Instagram profile. Because whether we like it or not, our Instagram profile is kind of like social currency these days. I think it's like a shitty thing. I wish that wasn't how it is, but the reality is if a girl or even another guy sees your Instagram profile and it portrays you a certain way, they're gonna think of you differently. And it's not about having like a shit ton of followers, obviously that would help, but the way to quickly hack this is just to make sure that you have high quality photos of yourself on your profile, because that's gonna be people's first impression or like their first social media impression of you. And that's why one of the best investments you can make is getting high quality photos of yourself, because those are gonna pay dividends for months and years to come. A, you can use them on your dating profile and get way more matches with high quality girls, but you can also put them on your Instagram. The types of photos you want are the type of photos that make you look like a higher status guy. So doing things like traveling. If you're physically fit, shirtless photos are good, but I always do them in a natural setting, like out by the pool or by the beach, not like you're taking a gym selfie, that's low quality, that's low status. If you're going to a cool venue for dinner and you have a dope outfit on, snap a photo of that, even if your friend's just using his iPhone in this instance, because that's a more premium environment that makes you look higher status. When you meet someone new, a lot of times you're gonna exchange your Instagram, whether it's a girl or a guy, and even if you don't exchange them and it's a girl who's potentially interested in you, you better bet she's gonna stalk you and find that Instagram profile. You still gotta put in work to look smacks yourself and look smacks your IG, but that work could be done in a few months rather than maybe the years it's gonna take to build that, that genuine wealth and status. Now make sure you go watch the full looks maxing video next so you can already start taking action and creating that illusion of high status. And if you're new to the channel, click down there to subscribe as I drop two new videos every single week and you don't wanna miss them. I'll talk to you in the next video. Stay beastly.